Switch that bass, keep it shit jumping. July has been an amazing month, but we must move on. August. I start the month. Here we go. Hello Johnny, welcome to Super Saturday Vlogs week 59. It's like 4 o'clock and I've only just got around to doing the intro. In midfield, Pogrebniak and Blackman up front. McShane, Saar, Akpan, Taylor, Al Habsi, Samuel, Cox, Fosu and Haim are on the bench. We're back. And, uh, but, 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 but. Shall I do it or do you want to do it? The, uh, the Spaniel team. Uh, I'll tell you what, you do it. Francesco Bardi is the goalkeeper, and then across the back they have Anizet Abila, Victor Alvarez, Mark Cabal, and Luis Lopez. In midfield, Jose Canas, who played at Swansea for a while, Hanan Perez, Joan Jordan, and Jorge Franco, with Abraham Gonzalez and Alejandro Fernandez up front. Not bad at all, to be honest. They weren't as difficult as I thought, but never ever gone into a challenge to try and hurt a player, ever yeah. in my life. Now, don't get me wrong, I've gone into a challenge to foul them, because there are good fouls and bad fouls. Don't get me wrong, I've done that to time waste or, or to stop the game, we've been under pressure, whatever it may be. So I've fouled people on purpose, but I've never tried to hurt them. But Stephen Quinn, a couple of challenges, nothing is good about those challenges. Been shrugged off the defender, the defender pulled him back, and then they got a foul. That's not going to happen. Birmingham players are not going to be doing Johan Cruyffs in their own area. What's the red piece of uh, kit that's now strewn on the pitch in front of us, Aidy? Is that a bit of tape to keep socks up? Yeah, I think it is a bit of tape. In fact, there's a fair bit of red tape on the ground. If you look, the Espanyol team are shedding red tape. Oh, oh what a great touch by the path. Brilliant from Pogrebniak. Just inside the opposition half, on the end of the Bond long ball, they plucked it out of the air and it dropped dead. And he was a little bit unlucky not to uh, break down the left with it. Pogrebniak is a massive player for Reading at this moment in time because Orlando Saar clearly isn't up to speed. Harold Robson Canoe is missing, injured, clearly not up to speed. There is no Jamie Mackey to score a dozen goals or so this season. So for me, right now, Pogrebniak is a massive player. I'll tell you something else as well. I reckon he could be a great goalkeeper. Could. I really yeah. think he could and be. And let's hope he is going to be a goalkeeper. From what we've seen so far this pre-season, I really think Bond could be, could well be a great keeper. Look at this. Look. How much do you think is about the start, Amy? So, not just Birmingham, but the rest of the early part of the Yeah, Johnny, I'll, I'll answer your two questions in my Sunday vlog. You know, tomorrow. And it's the 1st of August. Pinch, punch. I did a flick then, but pinch, punch, 1st of the month. No returns. It's the 1st of August 2015, as you all know. I'm starting off the month for the first time in eight months. And I think for the Halloween vlog, Johnny, on the 31st of October, which is Halloween, it's a Saturday, so... And did you see those goals on FIFA? Oh, those um, quarter pounders from the Turkish grill. And we didn't go to like a restaurant. I didn't actually go to a restaurant in Turkey, don't worry. 
It's just like a little fast food place somewhere near here. Those bloody core pounders. Those cheesy chips, they're so freaking cheesy. I know it's obviously cheesy chips, they're bound to be cheesy. <laughs> Great banter. They must just get a big lump of cheese and just go. Bruh. No, we need another one. Bruh. One more. Bruh. With that sound effect. <sighs> anyway, if you didn't, didn't hear, but I probably didn't even uh, show you this bit of the Reading game, but. Or tell you about it, but Reading drew 0 0 with Espanol. Or Espanol. Some people call them. And it was a pretty boring game. Hopefully next week's proper game in the championship will uh, kick off with a bang. Not like uh, Reading's first game of last season. Where we were 2-1 up against Wigan at home, I believe it was. And in like the 90th minute or something. Wigan equalised to make it 2-2 when they had... Uh, that German blokey is their manager. But then he's long gone, isn't he? So... <sighs> And if you didn't know, in the, during this holiday, I've had my friend James McLeod, who comes from Scotland, um, round for quite a lot of this holiday. Sometimes even like three days in a row I've had him round, but he's off for uh, eight days to Scotland. He must have he must have arrived in Scotland now, like Aberdeen or Edinburgh, someplace all the same to me really in Scotland. But he must have arrived in Scotland there. On he's on holiday there, eight days. <coughs> Hopefully he's having a good time so far. He'll probably get like a thousand pounds from his grandparents just for saying hello to him. Even more news. Uh, yesterday, James and I were playing Zombies on Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which James kindly left me. This because it's his. But since it's on holiday, I've got it. We did quite well as well. Three. the vlog. Johnny, see you tomorrow.